Well, honestly, this isn't the video I wanted to make, and this is not my, quote, comeback video or anything. I'm just going to explain a fucking situation here that's really uh, on my fucking case right now, and I don't need the added extra aggravation because... Tomorrow morning, I got to take Blanca down to the vet to get those masses removed, and that's going to suck. But what happened to me sucks even worse, because Friday, you know, it was Thursday morning, I was asleep, and I get a call from the hospital telling me that I have coronary artery disease, and they're assigning me a cardiologist. You're assigning me a cardiologist. Well... I was less than thrilled with that because I was not informed by my primary care physician or whatever the fuck this idiot is that I have anything seriously wrong. I went for a CAT scan of my heart Friday, uh, a week ago Friday and I get a call from the receptionist, not from the doctor, not from the fucking nurse practitioner, not from anybody but a receptionist, parroting this information that I have, quote, plaque in my major arteries and I have to go on statins to get rid of this stuff. Okay, that's as far as that goes. Well, I go to pick up the prescription and I says, well, this is going to help me get rid of plaque and it says, well, it's just going to lower your cholesterol. Well, according to my last reading, I don't have high cholesterol. So once again, I call up the MD and I get the receptionist who parrots the same fucking information. And then, like I said, that Thursday, I get a call, I'm asleep. First thing in the morning, what are these people? Like, go to work 6 o'clock in the fucking morning? And like I said, I went off on this thing, and I said, I'll make my own decisions and make my own referrals. Thank you very much. Of course, I called the office a little bit irate about this thing, and that was last Thursday. Um, as of yet, I haven't had the courtesy of a return call, and I've basically fucking had it with this shit. Um... Just because you have a fucking shingle on the wall does not make you smarter than me or smarter than anybody else. The key thing to realize in today's disgusting healthcare system is if you don't have any fucking knowledge of what's going on, they are going to fuck you. And like I said, they're not smarter than you. And what really bothers me is I see people that are younger than I am coming into these offices with these food storage bags full of fucking empty prescription vials, and I get called out because, quote, what drugs are you taking? And I say, well, at that point, none. And they say, well, what do you mean none? You're 69 years old. Well, now I'm 70. Now I'm on two shitty fucking drugs that I really don't want to be on. And um, this whole deal about scaring the shit out of me first thing in the morning, don't fucking fly. I got enough on my plate with a sick dog, and it isn't like I'm going to fucking just push that on the fucking side so I can jump through a fucking hoop because you're a fucking medical professional. No, it doesn't work that way. As a matter of fact, I'm online as we speak, as I, you know, I just was online before I filmed this, looking for somebody who takes care of older people because I am tired of talking to these assholes and not being listened to. I am tired of these assholes trying to shove drugs that I don't need to fucking take down my throat because they have stock in the fucking drug companies. And this is a tell here. If you go into a fucking physician's office, look at what his stationery and fucking writing implements have. If they have the name of a drug company on them, odds are this guy's going to prescribe you that drug because he has stock in that company. This is how fucked up this medical situation is. And like I said, I'm not doing myself any fucking favors getting all worked up about this shit, but what else can I do? Um, you know, the problem is I live alone, and if I hit the fucking floor, I'm dead. And, you know, I keep hearing, well, you know, you're at high risk for this, high risk for that. Yeah, okay, I'm at high risk for this. But just the fact that I wasn't told right away that this was coronary artery disease is fucking bullshit. I'm tired of dealing with this fucking shit. And I'm saying this for the benefit of all you people out there that might be my age that are dealing with a similar situation. I'm just sick of it. All these drugs that they fucking advertise all over TV for some reason, they never did this before. It was up to a doctor's discretion. But they got to let everybody in the fucking world know what this wonderful shit is. Well, all these wonderful drugs have fucking side effects that are fucking terrible. And the weirdest one I've seen is for restless leg syndrome, which one of the side effects is irresistible to have sex and gamble. So I have this fucking picture of somebody sitting on a bus going to Atlantic City, dealing blackjack on a hooker's head while she's going down on it. I mean, that's how fucked up this is. I never took 
Well, I can't say I never took them because I did fuck with some illegal shit that fucked me up. I basically don't take drugs. I smoke weed. I smoke weed to take the edge off. I take CBD to take the edge off. But when I tell my, quote, primary care physician this, oh, that's, what, that's what's giving you your heart problem. No, it isn't. And uh, as far as the CBD, well, we don't really know what that does for you. Translated is you can't make any money prescribing the fucking shit, so you don't want me to take it because it actually fucking works. So... I'm upset, to be honest with you, and I don't mean to upset my, my fans and shit like that, but I just felt it, you know, may be pertinent to let everybody know what the fuck's going on here, because I don't want this to happen to anybody. And like I said, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but my father was a pharmacist, my mother was a fucking nurse. And you pick up shit, that, you know, you, through that stuff. What's good, what's bad, and what you shouldn't do. And a lot of this shit, you know... I'm going to tell you something, and you may not believe this or not, but when I was on Medicaid, I was given a doctor, I don't know what his origin was, but he wasn't from here, and he would stand and hold the stethoscope three feet from me and tell me to take a deep breath. This motherfucker wouldn't even lay his hands on me, and they kept calling me back every three months for blood work that I didn't really fucking need so they could bang the insurance company for an office visit. Another jerk-off that they sent me to, because every time I have an EKG, it turns out wonky, but it might be due to the fact that they make me nervous as shit in the fucking office, and of course the shit's going to come out and turn out wonky. Of course my blood pressure's going to fucking rise. So what did this guy do? Throw me to his buddy next door, the cardiologist, who decided without even looking at me to put me on fucking beta blockers. Then I look at the sign over his fucking desk that if you want a prescription renewed, you have to make an appointment to get your 30-day renewal. In other words, you got to come back and let him bang, bang the insurance company from their office visit before he fucking gives you the drugs that he hooked you on. And you can't just go off beta blockers. I didn't go on them. Case in point, they scheduled a nuclear stress test that basically broke down mid-test, and they billed the insurance company for it. And I alerted the insurance company to that fact. Whether they did anything or not, I don't know. But the bottom line is you got a bunch of fucking bottom dwellers in the medical profession that are out to fucking make every nickel they can off this 70-year-old carcass. Because all I am to them is a 70-year-old piece of meat that they want to take apart until they can't make any money off them anymore. I have lost four close friends to medical mishaps that should have never happened. So I am very, very leery of dealing with any of these people. Um, they say drug dealers are bad. Well, you know something? A lot of these medical professionals are worse than fucking drug dealers because they make you take shit that you don't really fucking need. And I don't want, like I said before, I don't want to be like my father having 30 fucking pills laid out in front of me and God forbid I miss one and die. So, like I said, this isn't the fucking episode you wanted to, to see, but I just felt I had to explain myself because I'm in a fucking world of shit here and I don't know what to fucking do. And I'm reaching out to other fucking people, you know, you know, probably as the day I air this thing, because I got to find somebody who takes care of the older people and has some kind of fucking compassion and some kind of heart, not some mercenary motherfucking Nazi who just wants to line their fucking pockets. So please do not let this happen to you. Question everything, because if you don't, they will put you in a jackpot situation. So on that happy note, I will say goodbye, and hopefully I will be back soon with some more pleasant shit.